There's a new currency in Cult of the Lamb And it's used for many things like upgrading your cult's temple And I don't know, making babies? But anyways, here's a real quick guide on how to get sins fast Let go Number 1 Of course, the fastest way with zero cost, except for your time Is by playing the drum circle minigame this one has one day cooldown, so it's 100% sure to get sin every single day. That is, if you have the patience to do it every day. Cause I'm not gonna lie, it kinda gets old too fast. Or maybe I'm just easily bored. We don't know. Number 2. Another good way to generate sin fast is to conduct rituals. My favorite ritual to do is the Rite of Lust as it boosts the sin bar by 75%. So we'd only need to conduct a ritual plus make the chosen follower drink boost to complete the sin bar. I always choose this ritual instead of the others as I think that it's the one with a lot less hassle. The only con of this is that everyone will not work for half a day but time flies fast in Cold of the Lamb. Half a day is nothing. Just make sure you have enough resources before you start your ritual just in case you'd ever need them. But the Wrath and Cannibal rituals are alright too, so go with whatever works for you. Number 3. If you're alright with a little bit of hassle, then you can also consider making some booze and reserving drinks to followers that already have a couple of sin. You can make the same followers drink booze over and over until they give you a sin. Booze is also a great way to progress the sin bar if you ever did some rituals that didn't get to 100% sin. Number 4. Grinding Darkwood. This method is all thanks to the real J pixels. Credits goes to them. If you're the type who loves to go on crusades, then this method is definitely for you. All you gotta do is get the Violent Extremist Doctrine, turn on your cold pause option, and play Darkwood's endgame version. So you just have to keep going through the green door until you've had enough. This is because that doctrine makes it possible to get sin as a price for killing mini bosses. What I don't like about this method though is that it's not a 100% chance to get sin. The reward after killing the mini bosses are still random. Number 5. Booze and Sinner's Pride Combo. All you gotta do is craft a lot of booze, but unlike earlier, you don't need to reserve the booze because we'll be using Sinner's Pride anyways. So it's alright to let anyone drink. To make this technique effective, serve about 2 rounds of booze. After that, conduct the ritual. The Sinner's Pride ritual takes all sins from all your followers and put them all in a single follower. You can get about 3 sins like this, but your follower will descend and you'd have to kill them 3 times on your crusades to get another free sin. After that, you can conduct a resurrection ritual for your follower. The last method was the most effective one for me and I was able to max out my temple upgrade real quick because of it too. What about you? What method do you prefer for getting sin? And if you have any guide suggestion, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Also super thanks to our channel members as always. Don't forget to boot that like and subscribe for more Cult of the Lamb videos coming your way. Bye bye!